So coming to hyperhidrosis, there are three causes of hyperhidrosis. One is pitta vridhi, that is excessive heat in the body. The other cause is stress or anxiety. You see that exam going children uh, who is uh, writing, they have anxiety, lot of anxiety. They sweat in their hands, they cannot properly hold a pen. And they sweat in between their uh, feet and chapel. And uh, <coughs> the chapels become so wet. So hyperhidrosis is also a classic textbook symptom of stress. And it also happens in obesity. It's uh, uh, in, in uh, Staulia it is explained. Atisveda is one of the factors. So uh, hyperhidrosis is also... Uh, you have to see these three things while treating hyperhidrosis because if it is if it is of excessive heat then definitely Mahatka Kashayam and Saribadi Asam will give excellent result. Just imagine Mahatka Kashayam giving this combination is like when the, when the milk is fully boiled and it starts spilling out of the vessel we go run and off the stove to stop it from spilling. Similarly, here Pitta Dosha is fire and the body is milk. When excessive heat is there, sweat is being spilled out. So, turning the gas off is like giving Mahatikta Kashayam and Saribadi Aswam. Ask them to continue this prescription for 3 months and they will have a very good result. There are so many people who go to dermatologists for the same hyperhidrosis and uh, in English medicine, they definitely don't have any treatment for hyperhidrosis. Uh, they have no idea how to reduce this and people uh, are spending so much for this uh, without having a solution. This is where Ayurveda can come in and give a wonderful uh, solution for the patient. Another interesting of Mahatiktakam uh, and Saribadi Asam is in the case of Visarpa. Now Visarpa is co in contemporary science is correlated to two things. One is cellulitis and another one is uh, herpes zoster. Cellulitis is a bacterial infection that keeps on spreading and it, uh, the wound, when the wound is having excessive burning, dis uh, burning sensation, pus discharge and bleeding from the wound, then definitely Mahat internally administering Mahatiktakam and Saribadi Asam uh, can give beautiful results. And we can also wash the wound with Trifala Churnam when, uh, and uh, followed by application of Shatadauta Krita. That will give extreme good result in burning etc. Now remember Shatadauta Krita application externally has no, should not be given where is, when there is excessive purulent discharge because it will block the uh, discharge of the pus. When there is a minimal discharge or when the wound is dry then only you should uh, try washing it with uh, Trifala Kashaya and then Applying the Shatadota Krita. If not, only plain wash with the Trifala Kasha is enough. So, we have seen cellulitis healing good and fast with the help of Mahatiktakam and Saribadi Asma. It can also be given in uh, herpes zoster. In, in herpes zoster, especially when giving these medicines, Mahatiktakam, Saribadi Asma, or Gulichadi, or Kamaduka Mukta, uh, etc., so many medicines, giving this Pitahara medicines initially from the first day, well, its a main thing is. When you give Ayurvedic medicine for herpes zoster, post-herpetic neuralgia will not be there. When you give antivirals for herpes zoster, post-herpetic neuralgia is must will be there. Post-herpetic neuralgia is a pain or burning sensation at the particular site even after herpes is healed for 6 months or years together. So when herpes is treated with Ayurvedic drugs, not with antivirals, post-herpetic neuralgia will never be there, will not be there. You can even prescribe, co-prescribe Mahatiktakam and Saribadi Asam along with the antivirals. I have not seen people getting any side effect. That will also significantly reduce the risk of patient having post-herpetic neuralgia. So, there are two conditions in which Maha, you, you, you should be very careful about choosing Mahatiktakam and Saribadi Asam. One, if there is no Agni, then you should go for Vasa Gulichadi or Gulichadi Kashayan tablet along with Nimbamrita Asam etc. Number two, if the patient has the need of Krita, the, if the treatment is going on so many times with Mahatikta and Saribadi Asam, then probably you should shift to Mahatikta Grida or where there is a need of uh, need of a Snigdha Kalpana, then you should choose Mahatikta Grida instead of Mahatikta Gashayam and Saribadi Asam. You can also end the treatment with Mahatikta Grida that will give beautiful results. Thank you so much.